Ken, I guess I'll just ask you a few preliminary questions about what's going on. I missed the last thing, so I don't, I don't really know too much about it myself. But if you could uh, just fill me in and uh, tell, tell me a few of the details of what what we're going to be doing. Is that is this? Uh, oh, it's also. Uh, well, you've already answered a lot of your question by uh, the tone in your voice, which says it's obviously ridiculous to ask such a question. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I figure that our function on this earth is to reflect the other fellow, whatever instrument that we can use, be it a tape recorder or a camera or a pencil or a mirror. If, um, if I can reflect you and the places where I see... Uh, the, the barbs and the hang-ups and do it with uh, some amount of love and not with with hostility so that it, it, there's as little pain as possible it means that you can move on oh then this would be the purpose of it the uh, in other words by it's completely uh, therapeutic oh what <laughs> <Good> word <laughs> with how much success well you see around you some of the uh, more successful ventures right now <laughs> um you can see some of the lamest and limpiest and uh, looniest people in the Bay Area. Well, with what kind of direction do you, do you uh, aim this therapy, as you call it? Well, as a um, navigator of this venture, I try as much as possible to set out in a direction that in the first place is practically impossible to achieve, and then along the way, mess up uh, the minds of the crew with as many chemicals as we can lay our hands on so it's almost certain that we can't get there. Uh, well, would you say that uh, it was uh, deliberately self-defeating then? Um, oh, this is really good. This is, uh, is about as deliberately self-defeating as anything has ever been in history. Uh, most of the people I think involved in this realize that there's nothing to be gained. Oh. Um, that every time you try to lay your hands on something and get hold of it, that you've um, sold yourself down the river. It's a lie. The first prankster uh, rule is that nothing lasts. And if you start there and, and, and really believe that nothing lasts, you try to achieve nothing at all times. Well, if you're trying to achieve nothing, why do you put so much effort into achieving nothing? <laughs> <laughs> We have, um, we have nothing else to do. <laughs> well, it seems that uh, an absolute uh, nothing would be uh, what you, what you uh, would kind of advocate more than uh, an organiz organized uh, disorganization. Organized disorganization is, uh, is like nothing. That's a self-canceling uh, fact. Uh, like non-music or uh, see none of us are musicians or uh, navigators or technicians we're all um, completely bumbling amateurs first because like Galileo or uh, Columbus or anybody who makes any sort of discovery at all in this world they have to do it by accident uh, that means that we have to do something that will almost ensure accident uh, and since a human being is so damn proficient at, uh, at grooving himself a, a rut and staying in it at all costs so that he doesn't, doesn't get hurt, uh, we have to do something to break us out of that rut. Uh, the rut of our minds, which has been going along the same kind of thinking for so many thousands of years that we don't even realize it, that, that our thoughts are going nowhere new. Um, you don't. You can't have a new idea. You, know, you can't just sit down there and on the toilet and begin to strain and 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 go forward and find a new idea. You can uh, be enlightened, which is Not like ah, oh! and this, and uh, to do that though you have to wander into a new area. Well, uh, staying along the same line more or less with the type of sounds and noises that. Uh, you'll be using. What is their purpose? I imagine how it used to be like when people started talking. Um, the first guy that uh, that ever realized that he could use this mechanism in his throat to make a 
a sound that would uh, uh, communicate a feeling, emotion, or fact in in the brain of another uh, being over there. Um, at that time, we probably were humming all the time. We were probably making just continual noises. Uh, it's done, like I was saying before, to emphasize something that's going on with us. Uh, there is, right now, uh, between you and I, a, a weirder thing happening than usually happens, just because we're getting close enough to begin to examine it. Um, you, you get a lot of people examining it for a long time, it gets very weird. It's extremely weird. And this is what, uh, what we're headed towards. In other words, that is a trip. Well, the trip is um, an open circle, I think. Everything else is closed circle. The, the, the trip means that there's still a place in what is happening for me to fit into, or for you to fit into. Um, if you're listening to the radio, it's a closed circle. It's already happened, you know. But this, this all has to do with time. You see, when I say something now, it's taking how long for the voice to get to you, to your ears and your, your head, so that whatever I do happens at a point in time and finally reaches you, by mail, by whatever you want to call it. By then it's a closed circle. There's no place for you to interrupt me. Uh, everything is closed circles between people. When you get when you get an open circle, it's dangerous. It's like children or animals. Uh, it means they demand you uh, doing weird things, like uh, playing a harmonica that is going nowhere. Uh, that at any moment you can add to it your own kind of noise and it's part of it. Uh, this is different from uh, Beethoven's book, which is finished. There's no place for me in it except as an audience. Ken Babs, right. Blonde haired. Ken? Yeah. Oh, that's the guy back there. Yeah, but, yeah. We've already got him on microphone. Oh, yeah? No, we've been picking all that up, too. <laughs> what are you doing, Ken? Just goof. Let him do it, whatever he's doing. Just goofing. Why? Just fun, that's all. Just good, honest fun. A hard day's fun. Been working at it all day. Sometimes I put in 18 hours a day of fun. <laughs> 18 hours a day? Yep, at least sometimes. When I really get going. When it starts to accelerate and builds up, then pretty soon I'm just having fun all the time. That's uh, the best thing, right? Well, who knows? <laughs> but it's fun. What about death for you? What about it? That's the termination of your fun, right? Who knows? You don't know. No, I'm not dead. Oh, so it's talk of so death, death for you is something that's up in the air. You don't, have, you don't have any ideas about death. Ideas about death? Yeah. I don't, I don't have any good ideas about them because if I did, you'd hear it. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. No, I must not have because... Uh, Death, you know, death. What about it? Well, would you like to die? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> well, yeah, is that some kind of a threat or something? <laughs> what do you want, my money, my harmonica? <laughs> that's all I got, plus my bandana, my knife. No, you used that to kill me. <laughs> Can't have my knife. How about a cough drop? No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Oops, excuse me. So <laughs>
Take two. Take two. All right. Take two, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, indisposed as it were, at this end of this Sound City situation, and we're entitled to take two. Of what, may I ask? God knows, I am answered. Take two. They're small. Take two. That's all. Take two. Then quit. Take two, man, and then... That's it, split. No, I, I, I'm interested in you. Because you and I, I, if I, if I put the microphone away, you're two different people. You can communicate with me so beautifully in one language, the other language that you can communicate in so beautifully. I'm trying to understand because I'm a learner. I learned some basics today and I'm Talk quite to with, my... I'm quite with the basics. I'm as smart as you in one way, you know that. We're all as smart as no, each other. No. I'm, I'm saying cleverly. Smarter than I am. Cleverly. I can talk as fast, as quickly, and I can write as well. The other way, the other thing that you have, the other philosophy, the basic thing that you have, the beautiful thing that you have. the story about Peggy the pistol She didn't shoot a gun but she shot a lot of crystal She had the meth habit She had it bad Now I'm gonna tell you about the trip she had She was insane But then when she woke up Found she was on a different plane Well, I She had landed in the crack Between tick and clock In a land as still as a saw Jesus and Judas playing 
solitaire and freaking Buddha doing a Buddhist prayer. Oswald and Lincoln discussing truth and There's always somebody there, right in the alley, waiting for you to go slipping past and say, Hey buddy, you want to buy a hot trip to heaven? There's always one of those, uh, fast buck boys, baby, lurking just down there with a... Fairway ends. Watch out, he's dragging out past me. Wow, they're on the. I don't know if he's coming here for nightfall and bought himself up for the first time. We're using number 10 iron, I think. We're going to find it somewhere. Hey, buddy. Yeah, what you say? You want to buy yourself a hot trip to heaven? Yeah, I'll pick up on that action. Up, and that's where it's all at. He says, I'm reaching you up, 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 up. And he lives up. Left behind his copper doings. Yeah, left behind his pretty doings. And now he's reaching out into some kind of inner galactical miracle. Some sort of chaos reaching around his brain. Really, really loud. The sphere of verbal communication. And there was just clicks and fingers of electrical impulses. It was all slightly unbelievable and weird to the eye. He said this could only be reached through some kind of teleport, I think, non communication method. Never before devised by man can it be true that this is truly a one way ticket. To heaven! And at that moment, the doubt crept in that maybe this was not heaven. Not the heaven? Way that it the not the heaven? Not heaven? You mean, after I finally got everything that I've been working all this time for, after I finally made all these marks on the wall, after I got all this stuff stashed away forever, now this, put down there, this ain't heaven. I'm going to get in touch with, who's in charge here? Who's in charge? Who, uh, who do I write? Who do you complain to when heaven has gone wrong? Who's the man in charge here? Somebody will answer to this. That's who rule in Washington. If this is heaven, Belches of satisfaction as the good man looked down and said, Who call me? I'm in charge. Hey, listen here, boss. We got some kind of bad news that I gotta tell you about. I've been offered this one way ticket to your place, and it turns out it's all mock. It ain't even there. Ha ha ha! Well, chillin' you bought your ticket, and it's a certainly one way job, and I tell you, it wasn't nice and cool. And crazy there for just a little bit. Yeah, that's right, boss. That's right. 
I can't deny that, but suddenly it became something else, some sort of inner working of the diabolical mind of the human brain which passed it outside the realm of that crazy neon and electrical impulse. on that little motion because the boss was whispering away into whisper nothingness never to be understood by those who are forced to listen. Listen, listen, the heart's a bad note. Listen, there it is. We're supposed to come all at once. The electrical impulses reach out to the fingers and pass on one another. And it comes back into the method of those who are standing. There's living communication. It's not verbal communication. It's not unreachable communication. It's somewhere else. It's on another plane. Astral, astral, astral. <laughs> hardly believe it. They was coming on like gangbusters in the first row of the downtown Orpheus hey, Theater. Look I mean to tell you, look it. I mean to say, watch them go. I mean that their hooves were three feet above the ground and never touching down. I mean, it was jubilation and it is rejoicing everywhere. And everybody's joining in and they clapping hands. And they shriek it at the top of their voice, and it sounds to the unbeholden ear that these people have completely and totally wigged out into some sort of absolute divinity. But it's not that, it's just good, honest to God ticket. It's just good, honest to God ticket to that one way road of the only heaven gates we all know. And I say, it's all beautiful and gold and harmonious. And there's nothing but the sweet mellow hand laying on you. And I mean to tell you, this sounds like something that you've heard when you was a little kid. It's because it's still true, brothers. Oh, brothers. It makes my old little heart beat three times. It's slow to 33 and a third pulse. I came through the third astral elevation as a mere child and danced and formed jubilation throughout the multitude. So what? I doubt it for one second. Then my body began to give away. <laughs> we'll show those rascals they cannot. Fox, the maker. He's the devil, that one. <laughs> Elves and fairies and Pan the Piper danced too before it was all coughed out. Well, they picked up an old pen wiper and went tied it to a string after a long ago trout. Hello, Timmy Lee. I've come down here to visit you tomorrow and bring you a donut. Well, come on in and give it to me and we'll see what we can work out. Oh, gosh. You know, I just saw Tommy Robin down there at the creek and it was such a thrill. He had his new feathers on, you know. Tommy, Tommy's such a nice guy. And Perry Periwinkle, he's such a frit. You know, he was up all busybody and giving everybody so much trouble this morning. Oh, but here, have another donut. Hey, did you hear? I hate to tell you this, but did you hear about C? No. What? He went, oh, I hate to tell you this, straight without a TVA. 
abomination. Oh, worse than that, Oh, it's an abomination if I've ever heard one. Struggling. Masterpieces. With your assistance and clarity, I have left my astral form and achieved spectral. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for listening. Without your clarity, I would still be bound to gravity and the mass EMC squared. I can feel them all leaving now. They're running out of my ears like little jackrabbits gaily crossing the pasture that morning so long ago. And I'm over now and I can flick back into two-year-old pasture and the red barn and the kids on the beach and the stream saying, be good. And all Oh, I remember it, too. I remember it well. The deeps can come run through any time there, but I found out for a moment there in a field where your arms are ahead of your head. And the field is there, and we're above it for a change, and we don't have to dally in it. We can move on to another fluttery business. We can levitate and transubstantiate. Can it be true that we can go so far as to teleport our astral bodies into another plane? Plane? The man's insane. Ah, he's babbling just like he always He's out of his nuts. And so they take Pan away, giggling and fluting across the cement of his yesterday. But every once in a while, between the edge of... I've almost forgotten, and... Oh, my God, what does it mean? We can just catch the slightest echo. little leftover electronic impulse from all this crazy statical feedback clicks that you achieve a clarity that passes you too one step over the be good fence Well, I don't know about you, but that guy's plumb And get him off of there. Let's get, uh, get, let's get some of the boys I've up. heard some crazy critters in my time, but that makes me be sick the way he's coming on up there. I just... If he thinks I'm going to put out three dollars and 95 cents for an album to listen to this kind of trash, I say he's crazy. I say that America doesn't need this kind of impudent young snots. And those are hard words, I know, but... These are hard times. Terrible times. Get him off of there. They can't even understand that we are a war nation. We are at war. This is Franklin Delano Roosevelt speaking. The only thing you have to fear is fear itself. Hard times. The only salvation is to be good. I said be good. Hmm, because we still, still got, got it going. going. The crossover once means that we can slip back and forth because we are once again Blurred the edges teleported a little. above the past into the present 
and sometimes tickling the toes of the future. And the doctor will be hanging here in a moment. Uh, I want he you to examine his suture. At the last yes. scientific meeting, I presided over. But these are astounding facts that cannot be dealt with in any the man of the 20th century. Perhaps if he were seeing visions like, say, somebody in the past, of uh, you will burn. Uh, uh, say. But if but, he doesn't get to it quick and say that the thing will bleed to death before know. tomorrow. Beyond any kind of our, uh, any kind of our existence, as you might say, physical reality. <laughs> because at times the voice goes out and comes back just a slight second delay, and it does just enough, just barely enough, that you might, with a little bit of deliberate effort, crack and hide and. This whole single tract and slightly insane logic into a manner of speaking which our children could understand. It is for the children's sake only, for God's sakes, that I'm Get him watching. off of there! Get him off of there now, I say! Do you want the kids hearing this? Yeah. Look at him up there. That's how I'd like to lay this thing down for a while. I'd like to lay this down too, and if any of you put something else on and do something else, I would sing. listen or I'd let the dead sing some. Yeah, yeah that'd be good because everything is just so nice. <laughs> My voice is completely shot, Ken. I can't even hold it. I can't even keep a pitch note. Ah, uh, see. <laughs>